You know what the problem is, Robert? Men can't cook. You're absolutely right. What they need is... Well, have a look at this. This man is a successful accountant. But today, men need to learn to cook because women are going out to work. Ah, he's found the note. Most British men can't cook. But it isn't difficult with Mr. Beaton's cookbook. First of all, you have to find the kitchen. Yes, that's the kitchen. You cook food in the kitchen. Now today, we're going to start with something simple. Yes, we're going to make an omelette and chips. First of all, we need some potatoes. Yes, well done. That's a potato. No, 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 don't do that. You have to peel potatoes and cook them before you eat them. Now you need a few eggs. They're kept in the fridge. No, the fridge is that cold place in the corner. That's good. No, put that beer back in the fridge. We don't need beer to make an omelette, do we? Now, take out the eggs. That's it. Now take a frying pan. No, that's a spatula. That's it. And now pour a tablespoonful of oil into the frying pan. Well done. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Hello, darling. Mm. Mm. This food looks good. Well done. You see, it really is easy for men to cook with Mr. Beaton's cookbook. What a useful book. Shall I buy it for you, Robert? No, no. I don't need it, thank you. I'm an expert cook. Oh, yes? Show me what to do with this potato. No problem. First, you scrub it like this. Then you peel it. And then... All right, all right, I believe you. <laughs> we asked some people to tell us an easy recipe. I don't do any cooking. My partner does all the cooking in our household. I cooked a pasta only last night. It was uh, uh, basically put the pasta in the saucepan, put some water to it and boil it up. Uh, put some garlic and some onion into a saucepan and a bit of tomato sauce, heat that up, mix them together. Very nice meal. Toast the bread and put some cheese on it. <laughs> I don't know. The easiest recipe I know is jacket potato, where you scrub the skin, pop it in the oven for about an hour and a half, take it out, butter it and eat it. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. Would you like me to cook something nice for us, Vanessa? Yes, please. That would be lovely. Perhaps you can get some ideas from this song. Here's Debbie Whittaker with Oysters and Champagne. He takes my coat, then takes my hand Are you hungry? I say yes He whispers, close your eyes It's something special, try to guess I taste it once, I 
taste it twice A little salt, some spice A pinch of herbs, a drop of wine What is it? Something nice It isn't oysters and champagne It is delicious but not oysters and champagne The kind of dish that makes you think of sunny Spain Oh, Paris, Paris in the rain, rain. It isn't oysters and champagne My only wish is let me taste that dish again I want the recipe, so tell me what's its name Give me more of the same I've got a good idea. Why don't we go to a restaurant instead, Vanessa? A very good idea. Oysters and champagne? Why not? I hope you'll join us for our next programme. Yes, see you soon. Goodbye. Come on. Where are we going? Well, I think if I was paying, then we might have fish and chips.